Hi everyone, I'm Jade and this is my sister Jamie. Hi. So we just got back from the doTERRA Global Convention and it was amazing. Um, and we thought, okay, we're going to get all of our friends to come along next year. Um, but we want to make a video to um, help you get some tips uh, for next year um, if you want to come along. Um, and we have to make it now because it's fresh in our minds, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. what did what was the overall um, impression of convention this year for you? I've been to um, a global convention before and I've also been to a couple of um, Australian conventions and I don't even know how to compare to this global convention. I think as years go, um, you know, go by, it just gets better and better. It's mind blowing and it is life changing. Yeah, yeah. I, I think every year I say, "Wow, that was the best!" And how can they top that? <laughs> they keep on topping it. It's so amazing. Um, I felt like it was a time for education, but also a time for um, camaraderie, um, community, and um, dreaming together and supporting each other. So we thought, okay, there's people missing. There's people that we love, that we would really love to experience this um, opportunity as well. So we thought, yeah. okay, you guys, you got to get as much information um, as you can. All right, so uh, we'll tell you about, a little bit about the convention, what you get, and then um, tell you what to do to prepare for it first, okay? So doTERRA has one global convention each year in Salt Lake City. It's for three days. Um, sometimes the day before they have um, something, you know, like a gala or in the day um, before or after they have some sort of business training. But during a three day convention, it's lots of education, lots of guest speakers, doctors and scientists and um, just renowned um, people who do amazing things, uh, humanitarian work mm -hmm. um, and just uh, lots of research. Uh, so it, it blows your mind. You just feel in every area, um, and lots of motivational speakers, and none of the hype, none of the you know screaming money. Yeah, and screaming. it's not fluffy. No fluffy. I can't deal with fluff. <laughs> yeah, Jamie has no tolerance for fluff. Um, so fluff. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we we love the substance, and uh, yeah, there's uh, thirty thousand people there, and they have to do it in two arenas. Um, it was like 36,000. Okay, 36,000. So that's a lot. Um, but we uh, we get a backpack. We get a beautiful doTERRA backpack. It, it came in two colors this year. It was awesome. We get to choose. Um, they um, give you. Yep. So the notebooks come inside. There's three different notebooks and a cute pen. Mm -hmm. So you are ready to take notes uh, from all the amazing speakers. Yeah. And you get to wear a lanyard with your name. So here's Ben's, we stole his, um, and you know the colours is an uh, indication of which um, track you're on, either track A in the arena or track B in the Salt Palace. Um, and you know all the speakers have to do things twice, um, and you just sit there and experience it. Um, we get a lot of fun things too, we have swag and fun things that doTERRA gives us, um, uh, and it, it, the whole experience is just um, intense wouldn't you say? <laughs> it's very intense. You'll find that you make crazy connections with people and um, all your raw feelings and all your fears and you know things come up and it's very uncomfortable but at the same time it's liberating. Yeah I'd say it's very liberating. All right, so we have a list of things here that we want to make sure we cover for you uh, so you can prepare for um, this convention. So there's a early bird sale that ends in two days. So if you want to and you're thinking maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure, just go ahead and get it anyways. It's very, very inexpensive compared to other conventions that people have to pay thousands of dollars for. So it's $125 now uh, for the three days. The convention tour is 10 bucks and you you can do the gala which is the the time where people uh, celebrate rank advancement so if your upline is celebrating their next rank you want to go there and, and celebrate and cheer them on um, so that's like 49 dollars or something so all in all um, 
you're you're not paying that much um, and you're getting a whole lot back and you know what you have a whole year to plan it out you have a whole year to um, save up for it uh, so it's really good to do it now and if you really really end up uh, not able to come you can resell it there's gonna be a ton of people that want to buy it from you okay and you know you get it for the good uh, price because the, when the tickets are on sale officially in April it goes within maybe less than 24 hours um, so last year that was the case and they had to squeeze out a few more tickets right at the end uh, so yeah just just get in don't miss out um, and you will not regret it I don't know if I've ever met anybody that's regretted global convention <laughs> um, and you know people that haven't come they, they're the one that regrets really so yeah okay so Jamie you want to get us going here some of the bullet points that we've um, okay yeah. so this is um, a lot about expectations uh, we know that a lot of people you know expect to be comfortable and stuff when they go but think about it there's like 36,000 people there so you have to expect that there's going to be wait lines there's going to be um, a lot of walking, there's like dodging and you know like people, around people, people. running over your toes, <laughs> your friends, you know. Um, they don't mean to, they're nice people, they're all oiled up hippies. Yeah. But. So imagine that, so you're going to be a little bit uncomfortable with the space thing but you know if you're positive about it, it doesn't really make a difference. So. Just be mindful of that. Yeah. So if if you are uncomfortable with it and you and you know that that's not going to be you, then this may not be for you. You might want to do the live streaming, okay? But if you think, oh, you know, I can put up with it. I can be positive about it. Then you know that that's what you're going to see. And um, you know, oh, I'm I'm happy with things like yeah, like that. Okay. So because you have to walk a lot, um, you need to pack comfortable shoes. I mean, you want to look good and everything, but uh, let's. Um, be sensible <laughs> yeah. we're going to be walking a lot and you want to have um, you know a comfortable pair of shoes for the whole three days okay yeah. so you'll you want to meet up with your friends and so you should have like a meeting point but at the same time you have to expect that you'll split up mm -hmm. because there's yeah. just so many people and if you really want to have like get a good seat and get into the arena then sometimes yeah. you just have to split up into smaller groups and just and just expect that I mean we can't have 40 people sitting in our whole in one area yeah. it's just unrealistic um, so you know instead of being upset about it we're gonna just be happy and expect that hey we'll do our best to sit together but otherwise it's okay if we don't um, at least we all get uh, together eventually at, at lunchtime or whatever and uh, still experience and enjoy the convention okay wherever mm -hmm. you you're sitting and some people like to sit high some people like to sit low and so you know we're all different um, and then at lunch times there's things to do there's there's all these places to go and buy stuff yeah so <laughs> you know everybody things. wants to do everything and you don't you can't go as a, a herd a group so you just have to be okay with you know touching base and then going and if we want to talk we won't need to just rendezvous at some place have lunch together or something have um, a dinner together after the convention in the evening something like that um, but uh, during the convention um, you know don't be upset if uh, you know we're not able to all sit together and do everything to get that together yeah alrighty so Jamie you want to tell about this one here okay so I am an international person right so I flew from Sydney all the way to Salt Lake City and Jen and I uh, we lined up in the regular line the day before and it was really crowded but um, in saying that it went really really fast and during in the line you got to see the different bags that you could choose so which was great and then after we registered we walked past this sign that said international, international. registration <laughs> oops <laughs> oh. anyways I thought mm. but she speaks English she's just fine yeah you know. which is fine but then I thought hey wait a minute let's just duck our head in and check it out for a sec and we didn't come out for another hour and the reason for that is because I remembered um, we got pins these little Australian pins um, you know when we register for the uh, international line they actually give you five pins mm -hmm. from your own country so you can swap with other international friends and you'll notice you'll know who they are because they're all wearing pins 
on their um, and maybe flags. Menu. And they have flags. Not only that, they give you a little bit extra information. So we we had a luncheon with the Aussies and the New Zealanders um, in on one day. So it was a really great lunch, and I'm glad we ducked into that um, international registration because we were able to sit with all the other Aussies and like mingle and have a really nice lunch and have a little bit more international information on um, and your personal the market. Things. Yeah, yeah, personal market. The, the Japan, Japan has their own, uh, Mexico has their own, Europe has their own. So if you're coming from a different country, um, just ask about that. And they do take care of you a little bit better yeah. just because they know if things are foreign and new to you, they give you a few tips to... We even actually know. got a little gift. So we had like two free oils and yeah. a little cute bag. Yeah, it's like a cute shopping bag, environment yeah. bag. It's mm -hmm. so nice. So, I mean, you get a little bit of extra bonus goodie just to, you know, for finding all your, yeah. your friends from the same country. So, okay, so if you're international, remember to line up for international line and find the international lunches. Yes. Um, so you get a free meal. Come on. You know, and essential it's oil. faster. It's so, so yummy yeah, too. It's a lot faster. Yeah, so your, your lines are faster. So don't be stuck in the, the regular lines if you are coming from international. So all the Aussies, the Canadians, or maybe Canadians, no. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I think they um, did, yeah. but they didn't get pins, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you know, because they're swapping pins, some people decided to make their own pins from their state. So California, they had the, the wave, you know, it's yeah. just cool. So if you have pins from your state and you want to swap, you know, it's like a doTERRA pin, but um, you know, a little bit for your state. So we might take a photo of some of them for them to see. So it's, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll post yeah. that. Some people spend hours in there. Mm -hmm. like and visiting and talking to people from different countries. If you're doing doTERRA long enough, your team will be international. Uh, so, you know, you'll have team members from the overseas coming to the US. Alrighty. So, um, there is going to be swag there, of course. So, like this, these t shirts, a cute doTERRA t shirt. This is the new products. It looks like this. <laughs> you know, so cute. Anyways, um, you can buy cute purses and bags that you can hold oils in. You know, look at that. It's too cute. Um, like this, okay. I'll have a, have a showcase here. Isn't that pretty? There's Come. hats, there's yoga pants, oh, yeah, there's, there's hats. yoga shirts. Okay, and then drink bottles, hello. So cute. All right, so there's gonna be a ton of things and it's not just gonna be doTERRA that sells it, other people sell it too. And there's gonna be places to go all over the convention and all over the city. Um, so, as exciting as those things are, I feel like it's the most important to enjoy the sessions. And then when you come out to the session, then you can do your shopping. Um, I, that's my opinion because I found that when um, we're in the sessions, there's so many people outside wasting that time, valuable time, and all that information was so valuable. It changed us and gave us confidence. And I figured, oh, you know what? They've paid and they've spent money for mm -hmm. airfares and everything just to come here to shop. You know, you can buy that online if you have to. And you know what? Big deal if you miss out on a couple of things. If you plan to get a t-shirt and they didn't have one any left in your size, don't stress it, okay? It's not the most important thing. Sometimes we just have to help everyone see and to prioritize, okay? Um, you know, Jamie wanted uh, what, the pillbox? Yes, I did. They're out. And I wanted that t-shirt with the, what is it, dream, dream catcher? Dream catcher. I didn't have any more left. Hey, and it's not a big deal. So I, you know, managed my expectations, got what I could, yeah. and but I got the most important thing out of convention, which is the convention sessions. Yeah. So you want to go to the convention to actually be in the convention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, there were a lot of things I wanted to buy, but the lines are ridiculous, and you would have to waste hours mm -hmm. of convention time yes. in order to get everything you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that's realistic. Um, you know, perhaps go early. Yeah. Come early. Yeah. Uh, or wait afterwards. Mm -hmm. So after the convention, yeah. there's or a go few the hours. Or go the day before even. So they actually yeah. don't close until late anyway. Mm, so. Yeah. So just so you know, so don't feel like you're torn and you think, okay, uh, I've got to sneak out and every talk, nearly every talk was valuable. Um, every performance was amazing. So yeah, they, they planned this out really well. Um, alrighty. So luggage, let's talk about luggage. 
So if you're coming from overseas, especially, okay, um, pack light, pack clothes that um, don't wrinkle, uh, so you don't have to stress over it. So mm -hmm. Things that you can roll, um, things the pants that you can rewear. <laughs> Because what happens yes. is you're gonna say, oh no, I'm not gonna buy very much, maybe two convention kits and maybe a couple of swag, done. Um, but when you see stuff and you end up thinking, oh, I, got, I gotta buy this for so-and-so and I gotta buy this for so-and-so, you end up buying way too much and people get, um, you know, uh, you know, lose, uh, not, don't have enough space and then they, they have to pay for extra luggage or whatever. So plan for that, okay? Um, my sister, she, because she's visiting us, she has a whole bunch of clothes, hand-me-downs for my kids who, who are um, sort of her size. And so she's like wearing them, but then these clothes stay here and mm. that space she's gonna fill with other things. Yeah. So um, that's another way to do it, okay? Um, yeah, and of course your shoes and other things too. So we have um, a mod uh, the Aroma Tools, which has a lot of things, Oil Life, EOS, and a bunch of others that... So you'll be buying heavy things too, like the mm. books. So mm. um, you have to think about the weight, the weight, how much weight you have, and uh, like EOS and Oil Life, they have so many cool um, roller bottles and glass um, sample bottles all in different colours and then you've got like mm, diffusers so they're everything pretty bulky so items. Yeah, you want to buy everything uh, so don't pack you much, have, yeah. just don't and yeah. then buy the things we that did, you want. We did a luggage inside a luggage, you know how they have the um, babushka luggages that you know, <laughs> a medium size instead of a yeah. large so you pack all your stuff in that, that and then when you come um, you get to take it open, uh, open it up and, and have an extra luggage to fill. Mm -hmm. So that's another way of doing it. All right, so we got that down. Okay, so where to stay? There's a ton of hotels. If you, if you have the money, go for the hotels, be, be close to convention. Um, but if you want to hang out with your friends and talk and then regroup at the end of the day, you probably want to um, hire a Airbnb. Um, so Airbnb has is is very good now. Um, you so you go online and you kind of rent an apartment, rent a, a house or whatever. Um, it can be you know depending on how many people you share it with, it can be like up to um, well around fifty dollars a day or even less. But we ended up having um, a two bedroom um, and you know a living room without a kitchen, and it was it worked out to be about fifty bucks a day, which is so good. Um, and we, our Airbnb was near the tracks, which is like a train, a tram, um, that takes you right up to the convention center. So for those people who don't want to hire a car, um, um, you know, you can just catch the tracks up there um, and go straight there, uh, go straight back. Uh, so think about those things, because it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Um, the first year I, I went, I stayed with family. Um, so, you know, there's ways to do this um, that won't break the budget. Um, the hotels run about 100 to 200 dollars a night, um, and you know you can be right there in the city center downtown. Okay, um, and that's about it for that. Oh yeah, and with uh, staying with um, people, you know, stay with people that you you know well, um, so that uh, you know you don't have to feel awkward um, with the adjustment. Okay, so of course you know my sister and I grew up together. We we hang out and. And you know that you're gonna <laughs> stay up and talk because you're gonna catch up um, and um, you know so rest so, up. Um, yeah so you just know that you won't get any sleep for the, the whole week. Convention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, just expected. Yeah um, so I have a suggestion that you especially international people come maybe a day or two um, before yep. so you can be a acclimated to the, the time and the, I guess, the climate too, um, and rest up, right, yes. sleep, rest up, yes. and then when everyone arrives, then, you know, the party happens and, you know, it's, it's party time, I mean, you're not going to see each other for a while, so you want to catch up, you want to talk and stuff, and that's natural, um, I, I have to, I'd rather lose sleep to be, you know, catching up and doing things then, but, but still, you're going to be tired, so, you know, to make the experience a lot better, you want to um, come early and then stay a couple, a day or two afterwards to um, just recover, okay? Sleep up and mm -hmm. um, pack and just maybe um, sightsee, 
Uh, we had a few friends that did that and they really thoroughly enjoyed it. So they didn't feel like a rush. You were high with all this energy and then suddenly it's like a uh, rush home. Um, so just uh, take a day or two afterwards too, okay? So it makes your experience so much better. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and uh, because you're going with a group, Jamie said before, don't expect to save seats for your friends. Um, but if you do, if possible, um, just come early. So wake up and come early. That's yeah. the other thing about um, staying with friends because sometimes people take their sweet time and you have to share the yeah. bathroom. And then everybody's late. Yeah, and then everybody's late. Um, so you just kind of have to work with um, the people and know the people that you are going to hang out with. Um, of course, you have friends that are coming, but you don't have to stay with them. Um, and you can you can meet there, but uh, do come early uh, and get good seats if you want to get good seats. Okay. Yeah. So we actually um, lined up more than an hour early, and by the time we got in, it was pretty full. Mm -hmm. So the doors open at seven thirty, mm -hmm. and we probably got there just before eight. And by the time we were in, like the seats were filling up. So I think if we could have done it again, we could go like an hour and a half earlier. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't a big deal because our seats were still good. Yeah it, yeah, it was fine because we only had two or three people. Yeah, we weren't expecting to sit like a like huge we group. didn't we didn't um, sit all together, so it was fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so the Vivint, which is the arena, they have security checks. So yep. you'll be standing in line for about an hour to get in because they have to check everybody's bag. Mm -hmm. um, um, but the good thing about the arena, it's called, it's track A, is you get everything first. You get the announcements of the free pro of the products first, the new products first. Um, you get the performer, Hugh Jackman this year, uh, first. And um, so that was worth it, okay? And uh, the thing is you have to walk over to there. So if, you're, if there's things in the Salt Palace, like the product showcase, the convention kit, the registration, all in the Salt Palace, um, but you know you have to walk over to the Vivint Center um, arena. But for those people who don't really care about seeing everything first, experiencing everything first, stay in the Salt Palace. Do track B, so you don't have to walk anywhere. So you're all there. You can sleep in, and um, it starts at 11. And so you know you can wake up and go and do your your shopping uh, at the swag store. Okay, and then it starts. Okay, and then it has a late finish. And if that, that's you and you want to stay in the same place, that's the benefit of the track B. Okay, so you have that choice. Yeah, so with the track A, um, it's just like any other concert hall. You have to line up for security and they have to check and you can't bring glass bottles and things like that. So every time you get out, you have to line up to get in. So that's, so be just be a little bit more mindful that mm -hmm. You'll have to get in a little bit earlier yeah. to get in. But the arena is like a concert hall. So it's like four angles and then each angle has a big screen. So you can see everything from the top looking down, which is great. You can see the whole um, stage. With the Salt Palace, is it yeah. like one, yeah. everybody's yeah. watching Facing from the same direction. Yeah, one direction. That one stage. So, so if you're if sitting you, really far back, it's yeah. very far. If you're all the way over here, you'd be just looking at a screen because you can't really see the, the stage over there. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're okay with that, you're okay with that. And, you know, that's how it is. But, mm -hmm. yeah, just be prepared. That's what we want everyone to have this um, expectation, uh, manage their expectations. Okay. So be prepared to make new friends. You're lining up with people. You're going to be chatting. You're going to be swapping um, contact details. Yeah. So every year we our circle of friends grow, and um, I just feel rich, rich in friendship, rich in love, and yeah. I, I love it because you know that there's other people like you in the world, and wanting to do good too. Okay. It's like the friendliest sort of time. Everywhere you go, mm. we're like. Doterra sisters. You know? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Everyone's so happy to talk to each other. It's, yeah. it's there's so much love. It's crazy. It's so much love. Yeah. Even on the plane, you know, we're like, let's swap seats. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you do Terra too. Yay. Yeah. So fun. Um, so waterproof makeup. I know it's just a little detail, but it's important because it's how many days did we cry? Very, <laughs> very important. If you don't want to walk around panda eyes, panda eyes. get some Waterproof liquid liners. She hooked me up with some all natural. And waterproof uh, um, mascara or none. 
you know? <laughs> Go with that. Yeah. Some of our friends did. And bring cool. tissue. Yeah. Lots of it. Yes. <laughs> and there's yeah. something about it that just, um, you know, you're dreaming together, you, you hear inspirational stories and you connect to these people. Um, so you will cry. Most of us do. I met a lady on the plane and I asked her, hey, is this your first time? She's like, yes. And I said, how did you love it? And she's like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. And I said, did you cry? She was like, did I? <laughs> Three days worth. <laughs> so we're like, yes, too. So just yeah. be prepared. If you yeah. already if you already know you're a crier, then it's, it's a certainty that you will cry. Um, if you don't think that you're a crier, you may end up crying. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's an important tip, okay? Um, so, like we said before, stay up with your besties. You, it's a reunion. Um, okay, Soul Palace, the parking is about $12. If you want to uh, do, like, uh, driving, if you want, want to hire a car and drive around town and then park and stuff, it's $12 a day. So just so you know how much the, the parking is. I know we live in Sydney, and sometimes parking's like $60 a day. Mm, it's, it's like 80 yeah. 80 down. Oh, yeah. 100, yeah. Yeah, crazy. But the Ish. convenient thing about yeah. having a car is mm -hmm. with all the things that we've bought, <laughs> oh, yeah. we just run to the car yeah. and drop it off. Unless you have a hotel there, yeah, and you're willing to go back to your hotel and dump your stuff down as you go because you go to one place and you pick up some things and you go to another place and you pick up another thing and you're carrying all these bags with you yeah. everywhere. And then it's hard to go back to the arena because they check every bag. Yeah. Uh, so it's good to have a car to put all your stuff in um, after you shop. So good, good, good. Any and bring your husband so he can take your stuff to the car all the time. <laughs> so you divide yeah. and conquer, <laughs> or borrow somebody else's husband. <laughs> um, the other parking spots are roughly the same prices too, um, but uh, just so you have an idea. Um, okay, so you're not allowed to bring snacks in the arena, but you are in the Salt Palace. So we just bring small snacks and some of us, we put snacks and stuck it in our car. So when we go to the car, we can pick up some of our snacks and eat. Um, there's days that you, you, you can't really have a sit down, full on amazing meal. Um, so you have to get the nibble and then wait till dinner time to have a proper meal. Um, because there's so much happening and you want to go to the swag in if between. you can stop talking in if, between. Yes, if you, can, <laughs> if you can't stop, then <laughs> you're not going to eat. Um, yeah, but get to Diamond and then they'll give you a, a snack box every <laughs> single day. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. They do um, have food trucks outside. Yeah, yeah, um, and they do. But, but yeah, your you choices are limited. Rush. You have to like line up and then you have to line back up to get yeah. back inside. Some of the restaurants around are aware and they say, Welcome doTERRA, we have lunch boxes for you. Yeah. Um, so that's awesome. It's prepared and you can just mm -hmm. buy it and sit outside and eat it. Yeah, that was awesome. We, we mm -hmm. found that. We just went past and we're like, what's that line? And we saw that they had $10 lunch boxes with snacks and chips and stuff. So it was awesome. They prepared for us. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, just that's a, that's a little bit about food, okay? Um, so the, yeah, the, there's tracks. Um, so they, in Australia, we call them trams. Um, but there's sort of like trains that, that if you are wanting to travel around this uh, uh, downtown, it's all free. You just jump on and jump off at different uh, uh, stops. So if you need to, to go around the town in between for some reason, whatever reason, um, whether it's your hotel um, that's on the other side of the um, downtown, um, the tracks are free. So, so then you know that that's an, yeah. another So option. we were 15 minutes away and I wasn't sure if it was free, so... It was just five dollars return, mm -hmm. or yeah. six dollars. So we were in another town, all day. Murray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the Vivian Centre didn't allow water, so you bring a water bottle, an empty water bottle, and then you fill it up inside. No glass bottles. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So you can mail your stuff home if you live in the U.S. Uh, Aroma Tools and other places allow you to have free shipping. Um, at times, depending, I think the last few years they've allowed free shipping if you purchase products, they can ship it to you for free. Um, but if you're international, there, there's um, shipping options, but it's kind of expensive, so you might wanna just pay for an extra luggage. Okay, so yeah. that, that's, that's that. Um, and wear layers when you uh, wear clothes, because it, it's warm in the day, and when you're walking, you're hot, um, but then it's cold in the arena sometimes, and then it's cold in the evening, um, by the time you get home 
so wear layers that that is a good tip um, yeah and um, you know even though you go to the convention there's just going to be so much excitement uh, that probably at the end of it all you you forget a lot of stuff so I would uh, invest in the live streaming um, so this year we, we bought it when I had the special deal if you do an early bird it was uh, $49 and then um, the they gave this 20% off, which is, uh, it ended up being $39. Um, so that was awesome. So we're gonna rewatch it again now that we're home um, to just recap and review what we've missed because you know you get so excited and turn over, you start chatting and then they say something you missed. Um, so that's, that's, that's that. So do the live stream too, it's, it's worth it. So they give you all the slides as well, right? Yes, the, the slides and stuff there too. So yeah, um, okay, so now, you know, Please just uh, you know get your tickets and then start planning the year. Okay, you make it make it happen. Um, you know block out that week and you know you try to make it happen. Um, so for us, I would suggest saving two or three hundred dollars a month um, for that trip. You know if you're overseas, that's how much you need to to save. But if you're in the U.S., maybe a hundred dollars a month because your airfares are cheaper. Um, and then if you're going to find a bunch of friends to do Airbnb. Uh, you know, I believe one of my friends, she she had a whole house full of people and everybody paid a hundred bucks for the whole trip, you know, because she had like six or eight people um, sharing that um, little place. And um, so it just plan on who you're going to stay with and how much things are going to cost. So it's not going to be that much, but if you budget and you plan ahead, then it's going to be amazing. For me, it was easier if I didn't pay for everything all at once. So like, Every few months I would look at all the flights and mm -hmm. see if there's a sale and I would just buy a return ticket to LA and then deal with the domestic flights later on and then a few months down the track I'll pay for the accommodation and then a few months down the track of like, you know. Spend your money. Yeah. Yeah, and make sure you save enough for next year's convention. So they're gonna offer it early bird for you next year again. Um, so when you're there at convention, you will wanna have enough money to buy the year after, the ticket for the year after. So that's another thing to think about too. So for us, we had all this um, goodies and stuff and then we're like, oh yeah, we have to buy next year's ticket too. So um, yeah. yeah. So, so I had only planned to buy one convention ticket, oh, sorry, one convention kit. Yes. But it's so such a good deal. Yeah, it's such a good deal, and it's also so amazing that you have to buy two. Yeah, and they limit two per person. Mm -hmm. But if towards the end everyone's purchased theirs, then they'll say they'll you can buy as many as you want. So you have to make sure you're budgeting for that. Yeah, for extra. Because you know, most likely you'd want more than one. Yeah. Yeah, you think, oh, you know, new oils, yeah, I can buy so many more, and, and oh, that one, okay. And, and then throw in this yep. free lemon myrtle that we can't buy. Yes, and sometimes ah. your friends will, and then what? most of the times your friends will call and say, <laughs> and text, I want one. Oh, give me one too, I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you know, um, plan for those friends too, if you're yep. nice. It's a bit <laughs> hard when it's international, but I mean, if you're living in America, yeah, it'd yeah. be so easy to buy another one for a friend. Yep. So guys, you want to come because you want to feel inspired, you want to be educated. It's sort of like six months worth of education squished in three days. Um, you learn about the company, you grow your confidence in, in doTERRA, in our vision. And you know, if you have uh, you know, fears and false beliefs about network marketing, I mean, it's, it's going to be thrown out that door. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll say, wait a minute, what was I thinking? And this is not anything like it. I don't want to be that kind of person, but no. It's actually amazing and you want to be part of it and you'll be proud to call yourself you know part of doTERRA and a member of doTERRA and you are proud to have network marketing business <laughs> so yeah yeah anything else Jamie I think we covered everything this is a lot of information uh, yeah well just one more thing I think the main reason why people cry mm -hmm. is because these people have were exactly like you mm -hmm. and a lot of their stories resonate within you mm -hmm. and make you see the bigger picture that mm -hmm. you can be just like them I mean they probably went through a lot more crap than you did <laughs> and they still made it yes and so why can't you 
Okay, so uh, that lady who has that disease, um, AL, AL, what is oh that? Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know what her disease was, but she... It's an incurable she, disease. Yeah, she's from Singapore. Yeah. And um, she was in the hospital bed, yet she was still sharing her oils and running classes. Teaching an essential oil class from her hospital from bed. From her bed. She lost her ability to, to walk um, without assistance. And talk. And when she got up on the stage and she was talking, we could barely understand what she was saying. And this lady... But hit, we felt her spirit. This lady hit gold. She couldn't even speak properly and couldn't even walk. Like, yeah, she could still share her message with everyone. Yeah. Knowing that she's probably going to get worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that didn't stop her. No. So, um, <laughs> super amazing. And people who, who see the opportunity, they want to um, take that opportunity so that they can free themselves up financially and time-wise so they can serve in the capacity that they want to and create a dream come true. So people who wanted to go to Africa to serve in uh, you know the African orphanages and things and they've been really wanting to go back and and here's a vehicle for you to do that and of course you're touching lives all along the way too and then you have all these people that jump on board and and support your dreams. Um, yeah it was one thing after the next and you know like Emily Wright she was yeah. talking about you don't have to be um, you know like a man to be successful you can honor yourself and be a woman I mean like messages like that you think yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. me too yeah. yeah it was um emotional emotion overload it was like mm -hmm. I don't think I can handle it anymore <laughs> and then another speaker comes up and you're like I don't think I can handle any more of this. And then another one comes on. And my heart is exploding. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's like, oh, okay, we have to reconfigure uh, this head. Yeah. Um, but, oh my gosh. We look forward to it every year. It's just the highlight. Um, so this, this company is so much more than just selling oils. Mm. Um, they make dreams come true. They change yeah. lives. So, I mean, Tim Ballard, you know, the... Uh, Operation Underground Railroad, um, amazing, you know, the lives of the girls that mm. they touch and changing, you know, not even when they, he rescues them, he's, they're, they're not done, they, they, they put them in rehab centers and then they establish a whole safe life uh, community for them. And he adopted them as well. He adopted two of the kids too, so real life heroes that um, but, are drawn to. Yeah, so doTERRA has uh, the Healing Hands Foundation. Yes. And, um, you know, if everybody gives a dollar in each of their, um, in their LRP order, yes. then the amount of money that we can raise is a big amount. And Healing Hands gives 100%, 100% of their donations mm -hmm. to these causes. Mm -hmm. And they gave how much money to the OUR? Millions. Like five or six million dollars, yeah. like amazing. and it's just a dollar from each of us for each order we place. So, yep. I mean, it's the least we can do. Like, um, how much did they help with Na Nepal? Yeah, like a hundred percent of the money went there. Yeah, and you can tell that all the other places that you know all the other organizations take a lot of their money. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's amazing. I think who was it? One of my friends, um, or maybe it was Ben. Who went to some of these countries and they were shocked at how much money that um, the organizers were were taking for themselves and not Eric giving Larson, to yeah it was Eric, Eric Larson yeah. too yeah and giving to the people that really need it where that money was intended so how wonderful um, is it to have a vehicle that you can give and know that your money is going to yeah. go very far um, even the um, they have the micro lending you know, there's an X amount of money, but that money is lent out, repaid, and lent out and repaid. So that money is worth a thousand times more than it is, the actual number, um, because all of these lives have changed, and then they they return that favor and they turn around and help others. So it's just this amazing ripple effect. So you got to have a group, a community together, to in order to make huge changes like that. Uh, so so grateful. 
but you know oh I can't stop talking but like <laughs> one thing that I absolutely think is amazing about the global convention is that you actually meet these growers these yeah. distillers these managers for these different um, areas to get to, for, for our sourcing which you don't get to meet anywhere else mm -hmm. and the stories that yeah. they tell you is like so my you, heart yes you use an oil right and you think I know where there's one came from you know and you think I'm going to support the people in Haiti or Kapai by the people in Amazon and Guatemala and it's not just the, an oil for your health it's a connection of people mm -hmm. a human connection and uh, it, it just what, how much help doTERRA together. helps with their economy. Yes. It's crazy. Like. Yeah, you want to help eradicate the poor, you don't hand out some things, you create mm -hmm. employment for them. And like Pink Pepper, was that awesome? You know, they, they have it in two locations. One location was in Kenya, yeah. right? And those ladies, uh, they had Pink Pepper trees uh, lining the road and uh, it was uh, not being used as a revenue for money. And you Well, know, they had no other way mm -hmm to make an income for their family because these the women don't pass yeah. away. Yeah. And you know the things that they would have to do to feed their families. And it's just amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna cry. Yeah. Okay. So guys, convention, awesome. Two more days left to get your tickets. Just do it. Um, and you work it out, you'll figure it out. But we've given you a whole bunch of tips um, just so you can you know, imagine yourself there and enjoy it. And like we said, if you're no good with uh, crowds, don't force yourself there, okay? Um, but you know, if you're okay with crowds and if you're okay with this community love and being vulnerable and crying your eyeballs out, then join us. <laughs> because it's like, more the more the merrier. And um, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get together. Okay, that's all from us. <laughs> if you have questions, comments, just comment below, like our video, and share it with your friends. Alrighty, okay. bye. bye.